So you don't need much to build a squirrel pole. I will say this, everyone does it differently. This is how I like to do it. I have caught squirrels using this method before. It always worked fine for me. So first you're gonna need a pretty long stick. I'm six foot three, this one's a little bit taller than me. This could actually stand to be up here. All we're gonna do is set basically nooses all the way up this stick. So I'm gonna move the camera in close. It might be kind of hard to see with this wire because this is a 20 gauge wire, so it's a pretty thin wire. Look in this wire, all I did was make a couple of twists using my fingers, just twist it around. Because we're gonna take one end of the wire through those twists just like that. And that is actually gonna create your snare loop. I like my snare loop about three to four fingers wide. It's enough for the squirrel to get its head in, but not its body. There's two different ways to do this. You can set this right here just like this, and then actually wrap the wire and take it through the loop. That way, whenever the loop closes, it stays there. Or, this is the way I like to do it, because I can adjust it however I want. Just take the wire, Start wrapping it around. Doesn't have to be anything fancy as long as it holds. Then I'm gonna bring it through here and tuck it. Then pull it tight. That way it doesn't really move. So now you can adjust your loop however you want it. Sitting on the stick, the squirrel starts to run up the stick, catches, falls, hangs itself. So the squirrel's running up the tree, runs in your noose, falls down, and that noose will close all the way. It'll put as many of these snares that you want to all the way down this pole, you could put them every foot, every two foot. What I personally like to do, I like to find a squirrel's nest in a tree and then put three of these around the base of the tree, all filled up with snares. That's how I always catch them using this method. But the whole premise of this is if you watch squirrels while you're in the woods, they're always trying to find the path of least resistance. If they have a stick going up the tree like this, they're more than likely gonna take that stick rather than run all the way over to the tree and run straight up the tree. 